So welcome back and we're going on to the next ship in the lineup and this one is by I am Kyle Me and this one is the Flying Dutchman as you can see written along the side there we've got the Flying Dutchman so uh, it's uh, quite a big ship actually um, it's deceivingly large when you look at it you think ah oh, it's not that big uh, but there's a number of things on here that I want to sort of point out to you guys one of these that caught my eye at first was this because at a distance it uh, looks like, well, because it is, it's like little slots. So I've uh, got a, a proper grill over the air engine intake there. And at a distance, gives off a glow with a kind of strobing effect as you move around it. I think that's a really good effect. Uh, he's also gone with a hull plating using grey and black. So using the grey to make it look like they're actually hull plates, um, which I'm a big fan of. Um, he's also used quite a few wedges in interesting ways. So we've got like uh, a few half wedges there, you know, a few corners here and there. So um, up on the top, we've got a classical bridge. So uh, I'm going to take a quick look inside there in just a minute. But it's a proper tower style design. And then moving back, we've got a, this is really cool. It says H, like helipad, uh, but they're your docking points for, for, for ships. And then coming back here, we've got some really cool looking turrets. Gotta say, those turrets look really cool, especially with this little hole. That hole that he's made on the end of the barrel there, that's beautiful. i just, just got to say that, that really is beautiful. Um, moving around to the back, so, oh, look at that. Got the Star Made ship, kind of, on the back there, which is pretty, pretty awesome. And more grills. See, this guy's good. He's he's really good at doing grills. We've got a grill on the e on the exit of his engine there, coming around the back. So looking here, it looks like we've got quite a large dock at the rear, possibly for a shuttle or some other repair ship, maybe. Coming around again, we get to look at these awesome turrets. They look chunky. They look like they look like howitzers or something. You know, with those big barrels. It's a very, very cool design he's managed to develop on his turret. Looking at one on the top. So uh, this turret again, it's got the same sort of design. But uh, this one seems to have a tracer barrel, perhaps. A little one there. I don't know. Uh, moving down. Again. Again with the... Uh, crazy turrets. These turrets just look brilliant. I don't know if maybe that middle turret is supposed to look like the ones on the sides or if they're different classes, but uh, either way, there's some tasty turrets. Um, looks like the uh, ship cannons also have these epic barrels. I, I, do you know what? I think that's probably the best thing on the ship is actually his barrel design consistently throughout except where he's been shot at, I think. Someone's been shooting at him by the looks of it. Um, and yeah, so let's take a little look inside, I guess. We've had a look around it. Ooh, there's another gun at the front. That looks like a big gun as well. So this guy's gonna have a lot of fun in the uh, bobby tests. So I think what we'll do now is we'll go and find the owner and we'll take a look inside. So I think I saw him over here. So let's just jump out. Oh. Oh. Huh. We've got a way up. We've got a way up here. Why is there an X on that planet? That's weird. Right, okay. All right, excellent. So here we are. I've got Devin with me to help me because uh, uh, yep. the creator isn't on mic. So thanks very much for that, mate. No problem. Uh, it looks like we're going this way. Oh, boy. I think I walked through him. <laughs> so here we are like in the core there. room. I think he's unfactioned it already, so I just get on and start reading the stats out. 
call it if he shouts at us. So we've got a mass of 15,509 with a length of 264 meters, a height of 39 and a width of 67. The power is 1.5 million storage and the recharge is 7.9 million per second. And that's wrong. The, re the recharge is 792,469 per second. The turning speed is 1.1 on the X, 1.2 on the Y and 1 on the Z. And the shield's total is uh, 1.4 million with a recharge of 30,452. Recovery time, 4. So it looks like he's got weapons, computer, and D1000s. I uh, don't really know what's going on here, but it looks like someone's stuck in the stairs. Did I get him yeah, stuck in his own got, ship? I don't know. It looks like he might be glitching a bit. <clears throat> That's a shame. He's got such narrow uh, hallways. Yeah, he does. A lot of ice crystals. I'm just having a look around his ship. <clears throat> Looks like he had plex storage and then a tunnel to the tail, I'm guessing. Oh, a tunnel hangar. to a rear hangar with a much larger dock than the other one. For a long ship. Yeah. And lots of storage. I'm going with a salvaging vessel. Okay, so walking back along the ship then to the other end. <laughs> Style. It's because you all look the same, you know? I know, I know. I need, really need to customize my skin. Hmm. Uh, you get some good views off this ship. Yeah. Not gonna lie. I like all it's those really spikes. really nice. It's very uh, menacing. Yeah, the spikes are great. Did you see the, um, the grills? He's really good at making grills. He's got oh, a, I haven't seen it. You've got a grill over the intake and the exhaust of his engine modules, uh, the thrusters, and the, it look, they look great. Oh, okay, I see. What it is. And uh, standing in the doorway to the hangar, but it's a really nice, it's a really nice bridge he's got as well. And when you're watching this, I'm sorry we sort of left you behind. I think we got, I think you got stuck in the wall. So uh, I decided <laughs> to have a little look around. I'm going to see if I can go find him. That's oh, he's up here. Back up, oh, he's back up, is he? So we've got two what looks like pilot seats, which look straight down the ship. Plex storage throughout the entire bridge. What looks like two navigation computers, perhaps, with new navigation stations. Helm control. Going down here leads to the, uh, well, it lead, led to the deck on the other side. Oh no, it must have been the other way. This doesn't lead. To, this is the one that leads to the. Uh, kind of reminds me of Halo for some reason. I don't know why. Mm. Um, yeah, I, I guess I can see that. Narrow corridors, isn't it? Yeah, I guess I it's can a see cool. It. It's a cool layout, though. I, you know, it's a cool layout. Yeah. yeah. It's you know, it's it's also cool. He doesn't really have any uh, no fluff. You know what I mean? Like there's no. I bet this thing's probably got a lot of firepower. I would have thought so. Yeah. It is really nice. I love these little slits. These are probably my... Uh, that and the turrets. The turrets look especially chunky on this ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just about to say, yeah, they're really cool. He's got a really good look on his turrets. So, I, I'm um, really digging this... Um, uh, I forget what it's called, but like the... the end of the barrel there and it's like yeah it's yeah. It, I, I forget what it's called as well I hate uh, it's almost like is it an exhaust port but I don't think yeah, so I forget. What did he, is it a he muzzle it in. Uh, is it a muzzle what do you say the muzzle brakes muzzle brakes yeah yeah they look pretty cool they look great they look really yeah. good it's just attention to detail you know definitely yeah. I like these little turret design too. Yeah, yeah. But that's another thing as well, is just clear distinction between a big turret and a little turret, you know. It's not just a big block or a small block. 
Right. It actually they, has... They have some... a distinct style to it. Yeah. Which well, uh, is cool. They look good as well. It takes a lot to make turrets look good, not just, yeah. like I say, basically a, a tortoise shell with a block sticking out one one side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's saying that he's got uh, 10 turrets on here. 10 turrets. Good work. Oh wow, look at that. Those big ones on the side, man. Yeah, those really big ones on the sides are yeah. super impressive. I want to see this thing fight, man. Yeah, I know. It's a shame. Well, what we're doing is we're going to continue the review, move on to the next ship in the lineup. We're going to ask people to come back so we can do further testing. Yeah, with yeah. people who've got the time because not everybody yeah. wanted to do the full ballistics review. I mean, they were all up for doing it, but with the time constraints, if there are people that just want to have their ship looked at and commented on, yeah, then we'll do that. And I noticed that, you know, the sail ships obviously didn't have that testing element to them because yeah, they're not I mean, combat yeah, ships. Really. Yeah, yeah. You know, and uh, but this definitely is a combat ship, so this one will be oh, coming yeah. back for the full, full Proving Grounds video, I think, for this one. Um. Oh. Did you have yeah. anything more to say on this ship? No, I was just going to say, if I were to if I were to place a wager, I'd say it could probably get... I'd say it could get up to the Mark 9, I think. You reckon Maybe this is Mark 9? Yeah, it's the turrets yeah. make it give it a lot of yeah, promise. Yeah. Yeah, oh, hello. Oh, it started... Well, I don't know what happened. What was that? I don't know. I think that was the same thing. I, it just happened to be like... But it started to move, and then when I looked at it yeah. again, it hasn't moved. Yeah, it like rubber banded away or something. Yeah, that was weird. It was like the back end oh. raised. But anyway, uh, so thanks, oh. so thanks for watching the video, and uh, like I say, thanks to the creator of the ship for bringing it down because it's a beautiful ship, and I'd love to have you down to see more of your builds, and uh, to anybody watching this video. Thanks for watching. Please do come back again and I will see you soon.